Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video I'm going to show you three ways you can run a test inside Google Ads. Experimentation and testing is an important part of optimizing your Google Ads campaigns. You can run tests to improve metrics like your click-through rate, your conversion rate, and even engagement metrics like bounce rate. Here's what we'll cover. First, you'll learn how to run a test to determine which ad copy is the most effective. Second, you'll learn how to test the success of different landing pages for your ads. And finally, you'll learn how to create and run an experiment inside Google Ads to test other changes to your campaigns. Okay, it's time to open up our Google Ads account and get started. Running experiments in Google Ads lets you understand what works and what doesn't work in your account. This might sound strange, but I've found that when it comes to Google Ads, it's never a case of one size fits all. Things that work well in one account, like particular ads and configurations, don't automatically work well in another account. So experimentation lets you find the best options for your organization and your audience. Okay, let's start with ad testing. There are a couple of ways you can test your ads. The simplest option is to create at least two ads in each of your ad groups. Let's open a campaign and then an ad group. Here we can see we only have one ad variation, so we're not currently testing our ads. We can then create a new ad to see if we can improve our key metrics for the campaign. I recommend starting by writing an ad that is dramatically different to your existing ad. By testing major changes, you are more likely to see a measurable result. I recommend including different features, benefits or selling points in your new ad, and even trying a different call to action. Once you're happy with your new ad, you'll need to save it and wait until enough data has been collected before making any decisions. Typically, you'll want to wait at least two weeks while the experiment runs before applying changes to your campaigns and account. This technique can also be used to compare the performance of different ad formats. For example, if you wanted to compare a standard text ad to a responsive search ad. Apart from creating separate ads inside each of your ad groups, you can also use the Add Variations feature to test changes across multiple ads at the same time. For example, you could test a different headline across all of the ads in your account to understand how the change impacts performance. If you already have a campaign or ad group selected, then check that you're viewing Ads and Extensions, and then click the plus sign to create a new ad. You can then select Add Variation. And just to point out, you can also find this feature by selecting All Campaigns, then Drafts and Experiments, and choosing Add Variations. OK, to start you need to decide if you want to test the change across your entire account or in particular campaigns. For this example, I'm going to leave All Campaigns selected. Then you need to choose the types of ads you want to test. Currently, we can choose from standard text ads or responsive search ads. I'm going to leave text ads selected. Now we have the option to add a filter so that only certain ads will be changed. For example, we might want to only change ads that use a particular headline or send people to a particular page on our website. Let's click Continue. Now we can define what we're going to change in our ads. We can use Find and Replace, which lets us find a particular word or phrase and change it to something else. We can use Update Text to change multiple elements in our ads at the same time. And we can select Swap Headline 1 and Headline 2 to change the order our headlines are displayed. For this example, I'm going to select Find and Replace. I can then enter the word or phrase I want to find choose where it is located, 
For example, selecting headlines will look for this phrase in all the available headlines. Or headlines and descriptions will look for this phrase anywhere in my ads. And then I can enter what I want to replace the phrase with. I can then click Continue. I can name my new ad variation. Choose an end date. And choose the experiment split. I recommend leaving this as 50% so that you see measurable results quickly inside your account. Then we just need to click Create. That's it. Now we need to wait until enough data is collected. You'll then be able to come back and see the impact of your changes. We can also use this technique to test different landing pages for our ads. Let's say we have two potential landing pages and we want to know which landing page we should use in our ads. We can use ad variations to understand how the different pages perform. To do this, let's create another ad variation. Again, I'm going to leave all campaigns and the other defaults selected. Let's click Continue. We keep Search and Replace selected. We enter the current URL, then select Final URL. And enter the new URL we want to test. Then click Continue. I'm going to name the ad variation. Leave the other defaults and click Create. That's it. We'll now be testing the two different landing pages in our Google Ads account. I also want to mention that there are other techniques you can use to test your landing pages. Google Optimize is a great way to run experiments on your website after people have clicked through from your ads. Maybe that's a topic for a future video. Now, I want to show you how you can run an experiment in Google Ads to test other changes to your campaigns. For example, if you wanted to test changes to bids or keywords. To run an experiment, we need to start by creating a draft of the changes we want to test. You can find this by selecting All Campaigns, then Drafts and Experiments, and then Campaign Drafts. Let's click the plus sign to create a new draft. We then need to select the campaign for our experiment. Name the draft, and click Save. We can see the draft for our campaign on the left. Now we can make the changes we want to test to our campaign. We might change keywords, or the different targeting options for the campaign. For this example, I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to test the bid used for the campaign. So I'm going to select Settings. And then I'm going to adjust the bid. Once you're happy with the changes you want to test, it's time to head back to Drafts and Experiments for our draft. We need to name our experiment. We can set a start and end date, and an experiment split. I'm going to leave the defaults for my example. And I'm going to click Save. Our experiment will now be created. Once our experiment has been created, we'll see it displayed as a small beaker icon on the left. We can select this to see the data that has been collected and our results. And as I previously mentioned, I recommend waiting at least two weeks, preferably three, before making a final decision on your experiment. So they are three techniques you can use to run tests inside your Google Ads account. It's best to run a single test at a time, and I recommend starting by testing one variation against your original. This allows to see results quicker as you get started, compared to testing lots of different variations at once. 
What are you going to test in Google Ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.